Hello, I'm Nate, and I just built this biodigester. Um, I have questions about biodigestion that I just can't find the answers to. So I thought I would start this YouTube channel, ask my questions to the world, and hopefully attract to me the people with the knowledge that I need to go on. Um, so uh, these questions, they'll get harder as we go. But the first one is, uh, what happens when the gas bladder is full? Uh, nobody's talking about that. One lady, she, uh, she was, she just had a slurry, no, uh, uh, just a manure and water. She had no, no inlet and no uh, fertilizer out. Uh, when it stopped producing methane, she would just dump it out and start over. And she said that when the bladder was full, uh, the production just stopped uh, and and she could make that slurry last a lot longer uh, obviously it's lasting longer she's not using it as much but uh, she said it, it would it would just max out the inner tube would pressure up and it would just stop producing so that got me thinking if you don't have these valves like I do I got the valves because I'm curious I'm wondering uh, what's the max pressure it's gonna get to I got a little pressure gauge on here too um, so I guess I'll answer that one myself eventually. But if you don't have the valves and your bladder pressure's up, is it, I mean, is it enough pressure to push uh, your slurry out? I don't know. So if my bladder's full and I'm pressured up and I open this valve, is it going to come out there? Uh, that's a... Yeah, so what pressure will it stop at? And, uh, I mean, what happens? What happens when that's pressured up? I, nobody's talking about that. Um, so I, that's my first question. Uh, second question is, uh, can you run a car on methane? Um, I've heard of people running cars on methane, but I can find no information. Uh, it might just be rumors. I can find no information on the internet uh, anywhere about that conversion or about anybody doing it. Um, so if anybody knows anybody who's running a car on methane, uh, I mean, if you got a YouTube channel or a blog or whatever you got, I would be fascinated, uh, to see that. So that's question number two. Can you run a car on methane and do you know anybody doing it? Uh, okay. Question number three is more of just a statement. I would like to liquefy methane with a cryo pump um, and either run a car or a furnace on it. And my question number three is, is anything I just said illegal? Uh, I live in America and I don't know if you can do that. Can you liquefy methane in your backyard and put it in a car and drive that car down the road? That's, that's question number three. Um, okay, question number four is considerably more technical. So I want to talk about propane for a minute. Um, just so we're all on the same page, propane's easier to understand because everybody works with it in liquid form. Um, so just so we're on the side, I, I lose a lot of people with this question. And it, uh, so propane, Inside your propane tank is liquid, and it's not cold. It's at ambient temperature. The reason it can be at ambient temperature and liquid is because it's under pressure. Um, so that's called the vapor saturation pressure, and it's different depending on what liquid we're talking about, and it's different depending on the ambient temperature or the temperature of the liquid. So for propane, at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, it needs like 250 PSI to hold it in liquid form. Um, it's sort of like uh, how water boils at different temperatures at different altitudes. At a higher altitude, there's less atmospheric pressure to hold it in liquid form, so it needs less energy to boil, the boiling point changes. So with more pressure, the boiling point goes up. Um, 
So a propane tank basically puts enough pressure on that liquid uh, to hold to hold it in liquid form at ambient temperature. So uh, with that, everybody on the same page there. Oh, I was going to talk about the benefit too. Um, the reason propane is sold in liquid form is because as it uh, expands to vapor, it expands 300 times. So you get a lot more propane uh, selling it in a liquid, or buying it in a liquid, storing it in a liquid, I should say. Uh, so those benefits are even better with methane. Methane expands 800 times from liquid to vapor. So uh, I saw one video, um, the guy, I'm going to link it, that guy's channel is amazing. Uh, he's, uh, he was pushing methane into a uh, propane tank using an air compressor, which I thought was awesome. Uh, but he was only able to get up to 160 PSI with it. And uh, that, one, that one vessel, I mean, so if I want to, it would last a lot longer if it was liquid. If I want to keep my garage through a winter, um, I can't really do that with vapor. Uh, I would need an entire garage full of vapor. But if I can shrink that quantity of vapor 800 times into a liquid, I, I could probably, uh, I mean, that's, re that's realistic almost. The only reason it's not realistic is because the vapor saturation pressure of methane is so much higher. So that's why my next question. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so I know I can liquefy it. I know I can liquefy methane uh, with a cryo pump. My question is in regards to storing liquid methane. Uh, the vapor saturation pressure at 100 degrees Fahrenheit is 5,000 PSI. So if I liquefy methane, pour it into a vessel, and then allow valve that off and allow the vessel to warm to ambient temperature, it'll warm up, uh, it'll pressure up to 5,000 PSI uh, if the ambient temperature is 100 Fahrenheit. So OSHA wants a 1.7 time uh, vessel rating for the for the max operating pressure so I need a vessel that will hold 8,500 PSI I don't know if that vessel exists I don't know where to get it um, I'm sure I can probably have one custom made does anybody know where I can get a vessel uh, where I can store liquid gas that is rated up at least 8,500 PSI. Um, that is almost a dead end for me, uh, but for some reason I'm not done uh, trying. I haven't given up. I'm too intrigued by the project and the prospect of free gas. Um, so I am, uh, yeah, just going to keep trying, put that out in the world. If anybody can answer any of those questions, I'm going to put them in uh, in text form in the description if I can figure out how to do that I'm also gonna link that one guy's channel it's like uh, uh, decent at everything and good at nothing or something like that right. <laughs> sorry man I'm really hoping that guy sees this uh, his videos are amazing um, and uh, if you have questions, I didn't cover any of the basics of biodigestion here, but if you do have questions about what a biodigester is or how it works, uh, his videos are, are better than any other. Uh, so check out that. It'll be the only link down there.